June 8th, 1990. A storm is brewing over the villages of Saddleworth and Tameside, both figuratively and literally. Well, it was, by all accounts, a fairly damp day. It's Whit Friday, and a band is gathering that is causing a bit of consternation within the brass banding world. Whit Friday, just as a quick aside, is a series of brass band contests that take part in the village that takes place in the villages of Saddleworth and Tameside. I recently did a video on the 2024 Whit Friday contests, uh, where I go into this in a bit more detail, setting out everything. But here's a quick overview. The contests are all judged separately, and brass bands race around the villages in coaches trying to compete in as many contests as possible by playing the same march in each, over and over again. These contests are judged blind by the adjudicators, often sat in a caravan or a room by themselves. They're only told what band will play, not the name of the band. So, Band 15 will play Ravenwood, rather than Brighouse and Rastrick will play Ravenswood. Anyway, back to the story. Navigation Brass is gathering, preparing to compete. But Navigation Brass isn't a normal brass band. It's a pull-together band, uh, formed every year specifically for the Whit Friday contests. It's made up of top players who aren't playing for other bands on the night, with the aim of raising money for charity through winning contests and getting prizes. They've done this for a few years, and some other bands are pulled together. Certainly Navigation Brass isn't the only band that has top players playing for them. So why has this band caused a ruckus this year, when they haven't so much in the past? Well, in 1990 they played a march commissioned for them for the contests by Philip Spark, a major player in brass band music. This piece was called Navigation Inn, and was named after a pub in Dumcross, one of the villages in the Saddleworth circuit of Whit Friday. The pub owner formed Navigation Brass each year, hence why the band were called Navigation Brass. The pub was also a popular spot. Okay. So what's the issue? Seems a bit of a non-starter, doesn't it? Brass band plays music at brass band contest. Shocker. The issue is, as I've mentioned, that the adjudicators judge blind. They don't know which band is playing. It's only announced what piece they'll be playing. But because of the publicity around the commissioning of Navigation In and the, albeit obvious, links to Navigation Brass, most of the adjudicators probably would have put two and two together to figure out which band was playing. I suppose the issue is then, how did the band do? Did their publicity affect their scores? Well, on the night they got a Best Local Band Award, which is different to an overall prize, in Staley Bridge, uh, third in contests in both Greenfield and Top Mosley, and a second place finish in Dob Cross, a reasonably good set of results, where they, beat out, they would have beaten several more permanently established bands, i.e. the ones that could be at other events throughout the year, Brig Harrison Rastrick, um, Black Dyke Band, for example. But their results on the night weren't massively different to how they would have performed in years before when they played more conventional marches that other bands would have been playing. Um, in 1986, they played the March Ravenswood. So did Navigation Brass commissioning of Navigation in cause an issue? There was criticism on the choice of piece, yes, but there was support too. Ultimately, I think not. I mean, you're free to make your own decisions, but the Whit Friday contests are, to most people who attend, just a fun night of music. Did it even make a difference to their results on the night? Probably not, compared to previous years. In the grand scheme of it all, does it really matter? Who knows? Who cares? Anyway. That'll do for this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Subscribe down below and check out my previous videos on screen here and here. Hope you'll have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you all next time.